What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So in today's video, we are going over Milwaukee packout upgrades. So you can do a number of things to these packout uh, stacks. You can add all kinds of different accessories on them. There are tons of different makers out there. I will put a link to a lot of different makers in the description below. One of my favorite makers with, with packout accessories is J of all. I will put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description below and I'll show you a picture in picture right here of some of his videos. Now he makes all kinds of brackets, things to hold batteries, things to mount on the outside of the packouts, organizer trays, all kinds of cool stuff that that you can uh, you know purchase in order to upgrade your Milwaukee packout. So in today's video, I'm going to install a bracket for the tough built clip-in system. So if you're not familiar with the tough built uh, different trades uh, pa uh, pouches, they have different pack or uh, different pouches for all trades. And today we're going to mount them on the pack out stack. So they come with brackets that go on your belt, or you can purchase more clips in order to uh, mount them on the wall or things like that. So if I were to move my Milwaukee pack out here, you can see them. Uh, I have them mounted over here on the wall uh, behind the uh, bench here. So I have some mounted up on the wall already with drywall screws. Today we are going to put a block in here so that we can hang them directly on the pack out for the job site. So uh, let's spin the camera around. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. Stay tuned. All right guys, so if this is your first time messing with a pack out and or adding an upgrade like this, uh, this extruded aluminum piece can be taken out with a simple Phillips head screwdriver. And uh, you take out this number two screw here. It's a little black self-tapping screw. Go ahead and pull that out. And then there's a screw directly down through the top of this piece. And once you take these screws loose, you can slide this aluminum piece out of the pack out stack. So this is a great uh, option to be able to uh, do different things. The Cord Cobra, if you've seen the Cord Cobra, you literally just slide this down and a 3D printed piece will go slide down onto this and then you slide it back up and you'll be able to wrap your extension cord on the outside of the pack out. So that's another great option if you're looking into accessories. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna mark two holes here and then we're gonna drill through our quarter inch holes and we're going to mount this clip attachment right onto it. So let's go ahead and mark our holes now. Um, you don't, this is, you're not building a Taj Mahal here. Um, so you just go ahead and take your Sharpie and go down through here and we're gonna get some rough estimate holes on here. So let's take this over to the bench vise and go ahead and put some holes in this so we can use our quarter by 20 bolts. If you are headed to the hardware store, uh, you need at least inch long bolts. These are quarter by 20. I got nuts and some fender washers to go with them. So two washers, two nuts, and two bolts will get you uh, this single project completed. So let's take this on over and drill these holes. Now, I highly recommend that you uh, put this in the bench vise when you are cutting these holes or drilling these holes. You can see this extruded aluminum piece here. Um, you are gonna fight the drill bit a little bit and you don't want it to snatch it out of your hand. So let's go ahead and tighten this down in our vise here. And we are gonna go ahead and drill two holes. All right, so a quarter inch drill bit, um, went ahead and put two holes straight through the aluminum piece here. Hopefully we can get some good focus here. Let's go ahead and put it back in our pack out and get these uh, bolts put in here. 
All right, so now that we've got these holes drilled, we're gonna go ahead and put our extruded aluminum piece back up into the pack out. And then we are going to go ahead and tighten our bolt or our little screw at the top, nice and tight into our aluminum piece. Make sure it's held up into place good. And then put our Phillips screw back in here. All right, now once we've done that, we're gonna take our little belt clip piece. We're gonna put our bolt through the belt clip and through the aluminum piece, washer, and quarter inch nut. So after we get our nut started, we're gonna go ahead and snug it up by hand. I'm gonna take the second one, put it through here, washer, and nut. Go ahead and thread it down. All right, and then we're just gonna snug these bad boys down. So this is a quick little project that you can do. Um, obviously, it's only taken me about five minutes to do. Um, and accessorize your pack out a little bit better. The sky is the limit on things that you can put on the outside of the pack out here. So um, this was a quick, easy project to do. Let's go ahead and take you back to the original camera position. I'll show you how it latches on. All right. All right, now that we have our pack out in place, Going to go ahead and reach across here and snap on our tool pouch. So this is a nice quick upgrade that you can do in five minutes and with a simple quarter inch drill bit, a uh, couple bolts, um, this is a small uh, upgrade that will make it an awesome accessory for your job site. So I'm going to go ahead and put one over here on this slat and it's going to hold my second pouch from Tough Built. So a nice quick addition. This is a nice quick video. If you want to check out Jacob All, obviously I already told you I'll put it in the description below. I'll put other makers in the description below if you want to check them out. But they've got some good stuff. You're going to spend a little bit of money, but it's worth it in the long run. These are simple upgrades. Uh, the sky is the limit and your creativity is, or the wor world is your oyster, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever, whatever you guys are into. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, well, now is the time to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video.